please. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Over the past term, this parliament has repeatedly been presented with evidence of the devastating consequences of CADA deployment. The Zondo Commission found that CADA deployment laid the foundation for state capture. The National Framework for the Professionalization of the Public Sector recommended, and I quote, that deployment practices ought to be ditched in favor of merit-based recruitment and selection systems. Earlier this month, the Supreme Court of Appeal confirmed that it is illegal for the ANC to keep cadre deployment records secret from the people of South Africa because it impacts on service delivery. And I see the Deputy President as current chair of the Deployment Committee is present here today. If all of this was still not enough to convince you that it is time to abolish cadre deployment, I invite you to simply go out onto the streets and ha have a five minute conversation with ordinary citizens. You will quickly realize that the people of this country know why ESCOM no longer provides them with electricity. They know why they cannot take the train to work, why police don't catch criminals, and why there is no longer water coming out of the taps. The people of South Africa understand why the social grants they need to survive are no longer being paid. Yes, the people of South Africa indeed know that the suffering they endure at the hands of a corrupt and an incompetent state is due to one thing above all else, the virus of CADA deployment. This virus has infected every part of our lives. It has rewritten the very DNA of our society. Instead of a society that embraces skills and celebrates excellence, CADA deployment has given power over us to the very worst among us. Chair, the DA today proudly presents the cure for CADA deployment to this house. The end cadre deployment bill will make it a criminal offense to interfere in public appointment processes. It will prohibit politicians from working in the civil service. It will make the Public Service Commission independent and mandate it to enforce merit-based appointments. And yet the report proposed by the ANC majority on the Committee on Public Service and Administration regards this bill as, quote, undesirable. That's right. The ANC in this committee openly admits that it does not desire a cure for, for the cadre deployment virus that is killing South Africa. Honorable Chair, we should all be clear on one thing. Today's vote is nothing less than a referendum that will show where political parties stand on the issue of systemic corruption. The DA will call for a division and vote against this report and its nonsensical view that a cure for cadre deployment is undesirable. A vote against this report today is a vote against cadre deployment. Conversely, any party that votes in favor of this report will be voting in favor of cadre deployment and corruption. Any party that votes for this report will be violating the State Capture Commission's crystal clear finding that cadre deployment is unlawful. The time this is a moment of truth, deployment especially... Chair, this is a moment of truth, especially for the ANC and for President Cyril Ramaphosa. After all the promises and all the lip service, a vote for cadre deployment today will expose the true face of the party led by President Ramaphosa. A vote for this report for this report will confirm that state capture and corruption is nothing less than the official policy of the African National Congress. It is time to stand up and be counted in this house today. I call on the ANC to fix the mistake made by its members in committee by rejecting this report. If more than half of members in this house vote against the report, we will begin to rescue South Africa from CADA deployment. Just last week, Chair, we saw how different parties put aside narrow politics in order to do the right thing by removing the public protector. Let us do so again today by embracing the cure for cadre deployment. But let us also be warned. Any party that fails to rise to the occasion today can rest assured that voters will harshly punish them next year for having the audacity to openly vote for cadre deployment, for corruption, and for state capture. I thank you.
Thank you, Honorable.